What I'd like to show today is the quality of light and the power being consumed to generate that light. I'm going to use a 6 watt light bulb and I'm going to use a handmade transformer I use on my flashlights. That's the coil down on the table there. And I'll be using this uh, professional light meter which is quite directional as well to gauge the quality of light coming off that uh, 6 watt bulb over there and uh, the transformer I'm using is a toroid coil uh, this one is uh, I believe 600 turns of 32 gauge wire and 47 of 22 making it a 12.75 to 1 ratio coil so when I run it with my uh, 10.6 volt battery pack which at the moment is a 10.4 volt battery pack I get a nice bright light so let's take a look at that shall we? pardon me while I move my camera uh, I hope you can see that that's the uh, circuit I'm using it's one I did uh, some time ago it's basically how I make my flashlights and zoom in a little bit here as you can see I, I made a, a toroid uh, transformer here and one coil is uh, reverse wound to the other or basically reverse the end connections to make sure that they're in opposition with each other that creates a oscillation which feeds to the base of a uh, transistor which turns the circuit on and off giving this household light bulb uh, its AC voltage okay so let me turn this camera off and reposition I'll show you some more stuff here so basically this circuit is simple uh, the battery is going to be connected on here and uh, the coil will do its magic turning that transistor on and off and we're going to watch the power consumption or actually let me just turn that on out here right now do, 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 do. and the circuit can get a little finicky and let's see the uh, consumption the bulb is running right now we're near 1.1 amps. Hopefully you can see that. It's a bit of a shadow on there. And uh, the light bulb is uh, placed in a measured configuration here with the light meter. And I'm going to dial in the light meter. I have a line here and it's pointing straight at the bulb and I'm turning a pointer so it lines up with the brightness of this bulb alright beauty get away from the light because it's quite bright let me turn the circuit off because it drains my batteries heavily and that yellow marker down here is how bright that light was can see it compared to the ambient lighting in this room this is highly directional uh, so I'm going to reconfigure my setup for uh, a different circuit we're going to use a timer to turn the uh, transistor on and off to see if we can't get the amperage down and maintain the quality of light okay now we're going to try to modulate the frequency going into the circuit the circuit is now being driven by a 555 uh, chip just a timer uh, sending square waves uh, through a small resistor to the base of my transistor to turn the circuit on and off uh, the uh, capacitance and ohmage over here are just to buffer the power input uh, when I use more powerful things or things that kick back just to protect the chip not necessary for this and uh, the transformer is going to be used in a 
normal configuration. So it's now just a regular transformer, no longer self-oscillating. Pardon me while I move the camera again. And uh, let's see, hold on for a big move. The circuit now is being driven over here. Excuse me. With the uh, 555 chip right there. Little black square. I'll be moving the uh, potentiometers, the blue squares, with a uh, with a tiny screwdriver, and I think I'll have you watch the amperage. And uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see the brightness from the bulb from the side like this, but well, let me hook this up to power. Got everything going through the meter. The bulb is now on weekly. And we're uh, a little over 800 milliamps. And the bulb is very weak. Not good light at all. Interesting, it's a non dimmable bulb, but this way it, uh, it will dim. Oddly enough. So let me move the frequency. Nothing yet. Let me move the duty cycle. Actually, uh, they're kind of interrelated. Moving one interferes with the other. Frequency is going up a little bit. Light is getting brighter. Using more power, now less power. I'm getting brighter, brighter, brighter. Power is going down. Let me move the duty cycle again. I turned the duty cycle up and I lost some light. Let's widen the pulses. I'm getting more light. Using more power. Light is now very bright. Let me move the frequency again. Whoa, 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 whoa. Found a sweet spot here. Okay, hold on a minute. Make some adjustments a little bit here. Very difficult with these pots, they're very touchy. Okay, very low power, I'm losing my light. Very close to full brightness again. Looking at the brightness of the bulb. Duty cycle is not doing much at this point. Let's see if we can do a little better. Get a little jumpy with the pots here. That's extremely bright. I'll look at my meter. This is equal brightness to the other circuit, and I'm using considerably less power. Instead of Near 1.1 amps, I'm down to about 650 at the absolute equivalent light, according to a light meter that's set at a certain distance. I think I could do better if I had better potentiometers, but I think that demonstrates that uh, just giving the right frequency range to your transformer. Uh, can do wonders to save energy. So I'm using far less energy uh, using the exact same uh, chip, the exact same, uh, I shouldn't say chip, I'd say a transistor, and uh, the exact same transformer. Instead of self oscillating, I'm oscillating it and I'm saving a lot of energy. Beautiful. It's staying right there. I don't know if this means anything, but let's try to get a shot of the, uh, the light meter down here. Now it's showing just a rat hair below the yellow marker. That's the uh, spot it was at when it was self-oscillating. 
So this brightness is extremely, extremely close. So uh, that's my deal. Uh, using a 555 chip is worth the effort. Uh, you can get equivalent brightness out of your appliances. I should say your light bulbs at least. That's what I'm working with here. By using 555 timer, changing the frequency a little bit, and uh, you can almost cut your power in half to get the exact same light. So I'm looking forward to getting uh, better potentiometers uh, so I can measure this a little more accurately and see if I can dial it in better. But uh, modulating the frequency works really well. And here's a shot of that circuit again. Run out.